All right, my fall sign, Sagittarius, Libra, and Scorpio. Um, you get a nice Eurovision winners going through for the playback at the um in the background, but some heavy stuff because you have one, two, three, four swords, pentacles, one cup. And a wand. So you have the whole suits here, but we're more f we're more focused on the swords right now. That's a lot of f uh, fire energy going on for you. So the mood, ten of swords. Um, the wanting to pretty much. Uh, how do I put this? Like almost rejuvenate yourself. You're like constantly at work doing the most but not necessarily like getting it fast-tracked like the moods that got you here was um the two of wands you've been working really hard literally trying to put four limbs on here four arms to just get whatever you could get done and the need for that is almost like a sense of perfection a sense of beauty like this is what you want like you almost like there was a relationship that you almost wanted and realizing like you have to preen it like you have like you either cut it off like it's like yes the flower is beautiful but in the end is it gonna like continue helping the flowers like like when you um when you tend to a rose bush you will definitely cut off a couple of those roses in order to let the rest of the plant continue thriving for the rest of the year. And that's the whole sense of it is the perfectionism of what your circumstances and you're realizing that it's not necessarily going um, how you want it. So your hopes, your fears and the transition. So your hopes is that normally the five of pentacles is financial loss con um conflictions in that and your hope is that because it's in reverse that whatever you're doing financially isn't burdening you that you're actually doing good and in that sense you're hoping that the page of cups the meaning is having to continue cultivating your relationships like you have to continuously tend to them you have to be a perfect gardener and because this is a child learning these things there'll be a lot of hardships to go along with it like knowing exactly how everything will be harvest and in time you'll gain wisdom for it because here you see the heads being um older people so you have to really maintain that and with it being in reverse you're hoping that because of your circumstance you're hoping that your friends will know what's going on with you that you'll hope that they um that you don't have to like put more words into it like you are hoping that they telepathically understand what's going on and with the two of swords and the two of pentacles there's a level of balance between what's going on with your life right now everything that's happening you're trying to maintain this happy-go-lucky mood i don't know if i can this happy-go-lucky mood like here you have domestically someone that's able to maintain a household maintain something but you're also blinded by what's happening around you like you're trying to enjoy something but you're not necessarily seeing everything for what it is and so with this transition it's the five of swords and by just the image alone it's cutting up loose ends cutting up um this old image of yours coming up with something better resound more polished than what it is and that's what you have to start doing in this um mercury retrograde is cutting off what no longer serves you with the queen of swords putting down what no longer 
is useful no longer the resources for yourself like you need to stop putting so much work and effort into something that um isn't working out and that could be your job that could be um a, something domestic something in your routine that is not helping you uh flourish it's making it worse for you so you have to figure out and reestablish something like a dress here a dress will always have a pattern there are several silhouette patterns to address but if what you're wearing right now is not suitable for the image that you're trying to maintain for the lifestyle that you want you have to deal with it you have to either repurpose it you either have to throw it away you have to maintain a fine level of what you need to do with yourself um like up your standards i guess is pretty much what it is you have to up your standards within yourself because this is more of an inner conflict because um aside from this here you have dependence on you you have people that you that are dependent on you that you're trying to balance with everything else and you're losing focus you're not uh, maintaining and cultivating what you need to do you are almost just cutting off everything that really secures you for being you and so now you have to work double hard to regain this image again to regain being the queen of swords so you have to you know look outside of yourself to look within is what it is all right back at it my dudes crap even more cards for you so honestly i feel like with the rest of the spread it might actually be um the last advice i can give you for right now for mercury retrograde and the rest of the year so what you really need to start doing for your hopes fears and your transitions is for your hopes starting something new um <clears throat> being really decisive of what's going to happen um with your circuit with your peers with your posse just like you have to really know where to cut ties and with your transitions you have to make sure the cycle's complete and everything you've you've learned what you could in this cycle you've you've learned from what's happening outside of your realm what's happening inside of your realm and now it's really just becoming a focal point and um yeah with these two it's pretty much saying it's it's time to start anew it's time to um, cut off what is no longer necessary to you. But in doing so, you have to make sure that you are precise in what you're saying, that you know exactly what's going to be said. Because if you're not careful, hold on. Um, if you're not careful um you could end up hurting like more people than you really should have like with this transition it's saying um uh, that you need to not leave anything hanging like if there is a circumstance that you don't want to be in um don't just nece unnecessarily cut them off you have to explain why that's going to be cut off because if you don't want it back in your life you need to tell them why you don't want them back in your life why exactly it's not for you because if you don't it'll eat up at you because with this you have the devil card and you have the sun card which seems like a polar opposite but it's pretty much stating like the devil's in the details. Virgos will tell you that. The devil's in the details. And you may have Virgo sign in you. You may have um, earth energy. You may be a Capricorn in some sense. But you need to um, do you need to understand what you're dealing with. 
You need to, and others need to understand who they're dealing with. You have a lot of creative energy um, in you that you need to express. You, whether it's creatively telling somebody like, hey, I'm cutting you off, but you can't ghost somebody. Like as much as it's easier for you, you have to state what you need to state. And if they're not going to listen to your words, you've already done your part you've gained some level of independence in yourself you are now giving the message that you want to move forward and in doing so you'll be better for it like the sun card's here the sun card is outside of most of the major arcana where it is a titan uh the devil is more of a demigod in my um, understanding of how it all works out while the sun is a titan yeah a demigod can fight a titan maybe they can win but ultimately the sun will always be there a sun will always have to be replaced the devil will always go away but if you can strive to cut those loose ends like remember we are trying to find find a new self for you a new self-worth for you and you are on your way with the wands and normally wands are air energy but with again i switched some of these up for myself in understanding that you have to be a little bit more careful caring in this um because the swords um they'll stay put they'll stay put um you put them in the ground they'll stay put but if you run water through them it'll clean off what it all the dirt it'll clean them off from like that ground and maybe even just whisk them away but you have to know exactly what you're striving for and actually i might um pull up a few more cards for this because i at first didn't want to overwhelm you because fall signs i feel like you don't need a lot to know what you are going to go forward and doing but because you guys are a little bit of a weird mix i'm actually gonna do another spread real quick for you guys all right you're in need of a hero and the hero is going to be yourself my dude because dudes do debts fuck i hate that word do debts but me so you are the jury of your own life because um for me the hermit and the mirror and i'm trying to remember what it is in traditional arcana but you are going to have to do a lot of self-reflection you're gonna have to like the water signs you're gonna have to like find your creativity like i think the water signs already had it they already knew what they wanted they were already um, losing out on it but what you need to do is regain um, some level of compassion when doing your um, soul searching um, uh, either for yourself or others you have it's probably for others because you might like again you might not have been treating um, everyone well you might have just hoped and expected that they knew exactly what part they played in your um in your life and now you're realizing that that's not the case you put yourself in this alone position you became a sort of monster in your own realm but you have to look in yourself to figure out all the angles that you are just as vulnerable as they are and it it goes down to you have to find the work that really brings out the creativity in you like whether it's nursing being a doctor being like a humanitarian um 
almost being in the spotlight with this like you have to find the people that enjoy what you also do whatever like um whatever it is that you want to do is you have to find those right people and the reason why it probably wasn't cultivating as well as you expected is because you probably weren't vibing with the right people you weren't vibing with um the garden that you had placed yourself in like you um either superficially put superficially um put those people into your life because you thought it would suit to you it would suit a mutual benefit almost but it ended up being more work than it should have when that's not exactly what you need to do you need to regain what level of honor you have because you were almost in this like voyeur voyeuristic sort of um situation where you um you didn't find what you were looking for you didn't find that joy in yourself so now you have to kind of just like reap what you sowed you gotta like again cut people off that you didn't want in there you have to really um set yourself into those standards and while you do that you when you leave those people behind you cannot in the same superficial vein when you pick them up you can't just drop them off because people will hurt like while it might have been superficial for you it might have been something deeper for them and if you do not communicate in any sense of what's going on in your life to your friends they'll think you're your friends but you'll not see them that way so you have to really set those standards for yourself for your friends and if they don't meet those standards you have to gracefully tell them you know i'm sorry like like a doctor you have to have good bedside manner like if you come across someone who like is in a serious illness you're not just gonna bluntly say with a stern face like hey you got three months to live i'm sorry you can't do that you cannot do that you would not do that to an individual your pet or anyone like that you would probably um feel a lot of pain for them and you have to find a little bit more empathy within you you have to be a little bit more empathetic and that's what these wands were saying that um i um unorthodoxly um put as water signs you have to um act like water as fire so like a hot spring you have to not only do that for yourself but with the people that come into your life you have to understand um what brings you joy mary conduit what sparks joy in your life that's what you have to do in the rest of november and the rest of the year is you have to mary condo your shit and that's the advice I can give you right now through spirit and the angels. So good luck, my falls, my Sagittarius, Libra, and Scorpios.